Hello again. Um, so here, 15 minutes before starting my shift with the head or hair already up, uh, ready for my um, patients. Um, I'm going to go through the baby pack because there was a request that we review this ventilator as a lot of um, peripheral hospitals use it. Mm -hmm. This ventilator is uh, for neonates and infants and has some particularities. We have this ventilator already plugged to both air and oxygen. And you see this because uh, air is white and O2 is in white. Um, this gives us an FIO2 range from 21 to 70. It's the yellow um, dial. If we though disconnect the air, which I'm going to do now, it goes red and then our dial goes from 50 to 100. Okay, so having spoken already about um, the FIO2, let's go to the settings. How do we set up this ventilator? This ventilator is not very technical. We're, gonna, we're not going to have many buttons, so we're going to have uh, to set up the rate with an inspiratory time and an expiratory time. And for that, as you can see here down, um, for that, the ventilator comes with a very useful guide on the top. So if we want to set up the patient, let's imagine this is a small baby, we want a rate of 35, we can put an expiratory time of 1 and an inspiratory time of 0.7. So let's set that up, roughly 0.7 and 1. What else do we need to set up? We need to set up the two peeps, you know, the peep and the peak pressure. The peep is this dial here, and this one will be the peak pressure. We're going to have to adapt this when we connect the ventilator. And here, to turn it on, we have the different modes. It's, diff it's a bit difficult to see. On the right top corner, you see that you have a pure CPAP mode, which you'll hardly use, uh, but it might become handy if you're struggling with uh, having CPAP machines for bigger patients. Then you have an IMB mode that will activate with the patient, but it's not very effective. And then we have CMB plus PEEP, so that is continuous mandatory ventilation with PEEP, and CMB plus active PEEP. The difference between the two is that this first one keeps the PEEP by holding the gas during expiration, by closing the valve. This one keeps it by maintaining a high bias flow, air going around the circuit. This one consumes much more gas. So I think in this context of um, pandemia, where we are actually looking at how much we're using, I would advocate to use this one as a standard and only use this one if you have significant leaks that you cannot control, which ideally you wouldn't have in the patients that we are planning on ventilating the next months. So let's start. We have set up this. We're going to keep the PEEP there and we're going to put the peak pressure around 25 and see what happens. We have this connected to a dual lean circuit. We haven't put a, a filter here in the expiratory valve. We've put it in the Y of the patient. Remember to have uh, some sort of filter. And in this case, we've put a, a purely bacterial one, but you would put a HME with filter. So you keep some humidity in the patient. And let's turn it on. We just turn the knob. And here you can see we have a peep around four or five. We can increase it by dialing up to roughly around 10 in here. The maximum that it will reach will be about 15 on this setting. And then we can increase the peak pressure as required. There's no measurement of volumes. You need to go with chest excursion and entitled CO2 or gases to know your patient is okay. Just so you see, if we change that, that to active PEEP because there's much more flow, the PEEP will suddenly increase. So now with that, we're delivering 10 and it can go much higher. Okay, so just be mindful if you do change because you have leaks, uh, your PEEP settings are going to change. Okay, so we go back to CMB plus PEEP. We are in only oxygen, air is disconnected, 
dial down 50% FiO2, a rate of 35, a peep of around 5.6 and a peak pressure of 30. If you want to come the up and down, you turn the knobs. And just this one, which is the one that we didn't discuss, this is the pressure alarm. It is very picky, so just be generous with it. But if you drop it, it will alarm top pressure here. Okay, so hope this helped and see you in the next video.